Hello, so there's a user, uh, River of Life. He or she, I think it's a he, uh, was asking, when did I get to a point where I don't notice the tinnitus uh, all the time anymore? And uh, that's an interesting question. I mean, if I'm in a very quiet place, it's definitely more noticeable uh, because that's the only sound, you know. Uh, but right now, I can hear the birds and I think my brain is just more tuned into the to those sounds and it has sort of put to sleep the need to notice this other sound that's in the background. You see what I'm saying? So it's there. And if I if I if I look for it, it's 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 pretty loud in a way. But in a way it's not there because I don't notice it. And I know that's just a weird thing to say. It's hard to explain if you haven't experienced it. But uh the the loudness has not changed, but the uh, the noticing of it has changed considerably. <laughs> it's, it's just, so I was telling him, what you need to do is get to the point where you just don't care about it. It's not important to you anymore, uh, this sound. And what that does for the brain is the brain just starts to say, oh, I don't need to pay attention to it anymore. And that's exactly what happens. But I know it's not a simple transition for, for many people because it's uh, you have trouble not noticing it, not paying attention to it. Does that make sense? So I guess some of the exercises I've been giving um, are important, where the words that you choose to use to describe it are super, super important. Uh, so you could say, I don't care about this sound. It's, it's actually a nice sound. I, I like it. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Okay, it's there. Yeah, it's there. I'm listening for it. There's also cars going by. So I do often find, put myself in places where there's other sounds, and that makes it easier. Because, see, very interesting, you know, is that you can tune all kinds of things out in your brain. So, for example... A very simple one is uh, like uh, right now my hand is resting on my leg now I can feel my hand uh, resting on my leg but do I need to keep thinking about my hand is on my leg and I can feel my hand on my leg what's you know what's gonna happen right after after a little while I just it's just not um you know I don't think about my hands on my leg my hands on my leg <laughs> how do I stop feeling my hand on my leg oh my god make it stop right we don't do that <laughs> it's it, it's going to be a similar thing with the sound but it, and you know what generally you I can't control it oh my god I can't control the feeling of my hand on my leg well I guess I could move my hand couldn't I that would be easier but oh the clothes on my skin <laughs> I can feel the clothes on my skin. Oh my God, well, I guess I can control that. I could take off my clothes, but then, well, that would create other problems, wouldn't it? <laughs> but do but you see what I'm saying? I can even feel the hair on my head. Oh, well, I can cut my hair off. I can't think, I'm trying to think of something I couldn't solve. <laughs> um, oh, I can feel the air going in and out of my nose. Oh my God. <laughs> what am I gonna do about this feeling of the air going in and out of my nose? Well. Do you care about it? Well, I guess you care about it when you don't have it going on anymore. <laughs> Good thing I can both breathe and I can hear. So the the uh, the tinnitus is a sound as a sign that my ears are working, <laughs> and that's good. <laughs> I'm glad my ears are working and my nose is working and everything's working, so I don't have to worry about it. So it's it's kind of a strange and interesting thing to talk about, but just that's how the brain works. When something's not important anymore then it doesn't need to pay attention so much to this problem that we have to solve, you know? And then you just say, I don't care about this sound. And you know what, I've got other things I'm, I'm gonna do now. And more and more, you can start to tune it out. You can start to tune in to the things that are important. So you have to keep resetting, keep resetting over and over again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a to-do list of things I'm gonna do today because I, uh, it can even be just stupid things, whatever it is. I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to um, feel the, <laughs> I'm going to spend five minutes feeling the clothing on my skin <laughs> and what it feels like and the shoes on my feet and the socks and everything. And I'll focus in on that because 
I'd rather focus in on that than this sound. Because the sound is just not important to me. Yeah. So, you, I, I think you see the logic. And I know probably someone who doesn't have tinnitus will probably just think I am absolutely... I've absolutely lost my mind. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm actually getting it, I'm getting it back, right? I've learned to, to tune out things that do not serve me. And honestly, the, the sound can be gone. Not completely, not every day 24-7, but it can be something that when you do hear it, it doesn't bother you. And a lot of the time, it's just so in the background, you don't notice it so for all intents and purposes uh, it is not there for the longest time I said intensive purposes <laughs> and that is not correct it's for all intents and purposes so okay well that's my video for today I hope it helps you and I think you saw some of the beautiful outdoors I have here uh, in California <laughs> so okay have a good day bye bye